<laughs> so natural. It's true that the artistic life can be daunting and lonely. Along with the incredible highs one experiences on stage or at premieres, the valleys between productions, they can feel dry and debilitating. Bad reviews, financial frustration can lead to discouragement and depression. One year of glory may be followed by six years of rejection. So then how does an artist balance the joy of finding one's work affirmed with the long stretches when the phone doesn't ring and the paintings don't sell and words fail? How can we develop practices and rhythms that encourage a more holistic, sustainable artistic life? One that nurtures both our spirits and our minds, bodies and souls. When we breathe and receive, we become conduits rather than creatives. And so instead of trying to find inspiration within ourselves, we make room for the spirit to breathe in us so that we can reflect the glory of our creator. We attune our spiritual antenna to receive what God, the spirit, the, the muse, wants to say to us and through us. Wasting time with God may be the most effective use of our creative energy. It can't be rooted in efficiency or coercion. We do not enter into prayer with demands but open hands. We wait, watch, wonder. When will the next wind blow? We breathe deeply and stand ready to receive the holy breeze. Not to capture it, but to hold our head up and know that we are loved.